Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. This video is a um, is from a request, and uh, so for those of you who've never, uh, you know, worked on a Bissell Two X, if you still have these, uh, this video is showing you how to replace the motor. Uh, I'm going to try to go through it as, as as quickly as possible without dragging it out too much, but uh, I'm going to try to explain my way as I go. But before we start, this video is sponsored by me. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you look at the bottom, you may see some t-shirts. Uh, this is one of my little designs that I, I put on. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you can go to, to the uh, Teespring page and pick out one of those uh, shirts for yourself that have male, female, and, you know, uh, different sizes and stuff. So hopefully you like the, the, the things I do with this. Are you ready? Say yes. I didn't hear you. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Uh, all right, so to get to the motor on this thing is fairly simple, um, but when you get inside is where all the complications happen, okay? If you've ever had to um, take your machine to a shop to have the pump replaced, you can see why, when I'm about to do this, why they may not want to work on it or why they may charge you a little bit more uh, to, to fix these things. So let's get started, all right? Let's move the tank. All right, and um, all right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take out, you don't really need to mess with this part of the front, but you do have to remove your front plate, okay? Uh, it's a small screw. This one is already out of here, so I'm just gonna uh, take it off, and then I'm gonna remove this front part. Only because it's holding down this section of it, okay? We're gonna remove all these screws here, all right? Um, I, I already kind of loosened it up, so I can use a, a drill, but if, it's, if you haven't worked on it and it's rust, you want to get some kind of lubricant, spray your screws first because uh, you don't, what you don't want to do is break the plastic below it, and then all of a sudden you can't get the screws back in, okay? So let's take this off. You can see what inspired my shirt, right? It's coming out soon. Uh, <laughs> no, no affiliation with the with the company, right? This is just fan art for those who are paying attention. All right. Um, okay, so let's move this off of here. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Here we go. All right. Kind of zoom in a little bit. Now I already took the screws out of this one, but there's a one, two three, four, five in the back, and just lift it right up out of here. I already took the screws off. So now there's some other screws in the back. Uh, one, two, and then this is attached with uh, a screw. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this here. Like I said, I already uh, used this so I know that it can handle the drill. But if you haven't, I would recommend definitely either lubricating it or using a, one of these screwdrivers. Uh, this is also held together with two screws, one, two, and then this can be loosened up. Now, pay attention to, to this section because uh, I, if I was you, I would take a picture of this, take a picture from the front, take a picture from the back. That's gonna kind of let you know where the, the, the tubing is supposed to go. All right, because the moment you start taking out the tubing, uh, and if you didn't do this, you're gonna you're gonna forget what goes where, and you'll frustrate yourself. So take pictures. All right, all right. Now this is going. This should be going down to the pump. Okay. Yep. And it's not directly uh, uh, feeding the pump, but it's a vacuum section. All right. And there's another vacuum section that goes to the top of the pump. All right. Let me let me move this so you can see it, all right? So this goes to the top of the pump, so you can just remove this, okay? And then you have these here, okay? So let's remove this one, because that's gonna enter, that's connecting to your auto receiver, all right? So let's remove this, using a needle nose pliers, okay? All right, so now this is loose and out of your way, see that? All right, and after you remove all these screws, uh, and don't forget this, this is this goes, goes along with this, but when you're gonna put it back over, over here. Now let's lift this up, take a look, okay? 
So if you want, you can just pull this all the way out. That's fine. Uh, take note of what you, what you have inside of here, what's going on in here. You have your heater um, element, you have your solenoid here, you have your pump back here, and you have your motor right here. See that? So you're gonna kind of remove this stuff out of your way. Now, if this, is a, if this is a nuisance for you, what you can do, again, like I said, this is attached to this. So just pull this off. See, so now nothing is kind of holding you back here. See that? Okay. And there's no need to really start pulling everything out because you're really only going after this motor, okay? All right. Now that all this is exposed, all right, I am back. Uh, so a quick recap, all right? Uh, so you took a picture of everything. Make sure that you know where all the tubing goes. So as long as you have pictures, you don't don't you don't be afraid of taking everything apart. As long as you know where everything's supposed to go, and even if you have to write them down, you know, um, you know, write down your steps if that's what it takes. Okay, just do whatever it takes so you can eliminate the uh, frustration. All right. So here we go. Um, if you notice how. This is just a matter of just popping it out like this. See that? Comes right out. Okay? And just follow the wires. That's really it. Uh, motor, you're gonna come with the wiring, but if you want, you can you can go this angle by just removing the old prongs, and that's that's a way. Um, you know, that's, that is a way to do it, to keep it really simple. But sometimes you may want to change your wiring, uh, the lead wires. So you can just, honestly, just remove your old prongs here. Just remember where they go. Even if you have to get a marker and uh, put black, you know, put, well, leave this one white. And then put the, see, if you notice what they did, they put the red here. This is the company did this already. So this one is already marked. And then you can just put a black dot here to mark this. And then you remove it. If you know I'm squeezing, just to tell you the spot I'm squeezing on this thing to get it out. Let's see if you can see it. There's a little tab right here that you squeeze and make it easier to pop these things out. Just take a closer look when on your machine so now and then you have your uh, you have your ground all right I'm gonna do the same thing with the ground okay so this is the the old uh, motor and then you get your new motor and you put all the tabs back in if you want to change the wiring that's when you go through all that other stuff and kind of rewire them and you know, we twist them and all those things. But for now, really, if you want to keep it the simplest possible way, is to just remove the tabs. Pop your new motor in. Don't forget this. I would put this in first. Okay. And then you're going to find the fitting where this serves you best. And I believe it's right about, let's see, was it here? Let me make sure I get this. Yep, this is it right here. Okay. And if you notice, it's right near where this is. And that's it, guys. Okay. Let me see, make sure I'm doing this right because I don't want to put them where they're not supposed to go. Okay, one, two. You know what's funny about this is that they leave the they leave their marks. Ah, my bad. Sorry guys, I give you the wrong information. Okay, you, you see where this is the opening? Look down here, right? It's gonna be over here, okay? All right, so you just put it right over in that same section. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be on the other side. All right, how's that? <laughs> okay, so that's really it guys, all right? And then uh, just go back and put everything back where it's supposed to go, put your ground back where it's supposed to go, put your um, your lead wire, put your neutral wire where it's supposed to be, put your lead wire, and then you're good to go. You can, you can move on from there. You have your black, which is right here, and the red wire is right on this side over here, okay? And then just, re just repeat what you just did to put everything back into place, but that's really it. Now, uh, while I'm here, I want you to take a look at your 
at this, your um, your heater coil, because you don't want to you don't want to go as far and and go and replace your motor and you didn't do one of the service. One, one of the things that cost the, the, the most problem on this machine, which is the heater. So you wanna make sure this heater's clean. Make sure it's clean. And um, because if you don't, you may hook it back up again and then you're dealing with a whole nother issue. This will cause your machine not to pump water. Look at that, I already broke my glove. Go. Okay, let's see if this one is already cleaned out. Ah, take a look. Look at all the stuff that can get clogged up. See it? So now imagine, uh, look, can you see now? If this is moving like this, see how it's moving into this? So it's going to be moving through the whole system. This will clog up your pumps. Your solenoid, because it has to pass through. Think, think about this for a second. The water comes out of here, if you notice, right? The water's coming out of here. And uh, then it has to go to, to the front, right? And then, and the, see how little space you have here? It, it can get clogged in your solenoid. But then it goes through and it's split to go here and it can clog up your jets, okay? So that's just an extra thing to talk about. But definitely, if you're gonna go in, in this far, check that. Make sure that's cleaned out. And if you go this far, make sure that you do you check the same. All right. And you can use um, you know, you dump it out, of course. And you can get uh, uh, swabs or um, paint brushes. Even uh, reason why I say a paintbrush because it's small enough. The brush itself is small enough, like a like artist's brush, to get in here and just work it and clean it out. Okay. And uh, and then flush it out. All right. All right, so, and to avoid this, guys, what I would recommend is that if you're gonna use this unit and if you're gonna use the heater, make sure that you flush it after you use it because um, the solution with the soap, that's what that is, that's soap, and it bakes. Okay, so now you shut the machine off, you put it to the side somewhere, and it's, it's gonna be hot for another half hour or so. So the water's not moving and whatever's in there is baking. It's like bubbling, you know, like you're cooking, you know. Um, so just keep that in mind, all right? I know that's a whole often another tangent, but being that you're already doing this, I figured let me mention it while you're in here. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to support the channel by either subscribing or also picking up one of our shirts, right? Uh, and, and thanks for all the support, everyone who's been subscribing. Um, and that's it. Pass it on, share it, tell your friends, you know. This, it's good to have us as a, a resource where you can just find us easy. You don't have to um, look, do a bunch of searches on YouTube. Just check our list of tips in our playlist and see if something in there uh, solve your problem. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.